Chance is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. State Champs is also working in partnership with the Indiana High School Athletic Association. Hi everyone and welcome back on set here inside the State Team Sports Network studios for another exciting half hour of high school sports highlights from here in the state of Indiana. Welcome to State Champs, we're presented by Lawrence Technological University where Blue Devils dare. I'm Jenna Skelsky. And I'm Lauren Plant. Hey, we've been on the high school beat in the Hoosier State for 50 weeks now, dating back to the fall of 2018. And we have been busy. We have literally covered over 250 different schools and produced thousands of highlight packages. If you wanna see it all, go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com or visit our State Champs Indiana Facebook, Twitter page and check out our YouTube channel. We dedicate this entire half hour to regional football from around the state. I'm Jeremy Otto. More football action now as the Center Grove Trojans travel to take on the defending state champion, Warren Central Warriors. Center Grove was able to score first and led 6-0. Fast forwarding to inside a minute to go in the second quarter. Warren Central looking to tie it up. Kobe Moore takes the shotgun snap, heaves it up for DeMarcus Brown, who strides in for six to complete the 50-yard pass play. Seven to six, Warren Central heading into the locker room. Six minutes to go in the third, Center Grove with the ball. Sophomore signal caller Tavon Jackson rocks back and targets Trenton Veith, who slips away and into the end zone. Center Grove converted in a two-point conversion, make it 14 to seven. Now two minutes left in the third, Trojans driving, Carson still gets the give, targets the middle, and drags his way in for the TD to put his team up two scores, 21 to seven. Center Grove holds on to win and knocks off the defending 6A champs, 28 to 14. I'm Glenn Marini from the Fort Wayne area, only 10 miles separating South Adams and Adams Central. The Starfires and Jets colliding for a 1A regional title. First quarter, it's Blake Hirely of Adams Central with the score and the Jets stake themselves to a 7-0 lead. Starfires responding, it's Nick Stuber plunging ahead and this game was tied 7-all at the half. Third quarter, it's Hirely again. The kid had 160 yards rushing. He's only a sophomore and had the Jets up 13-7, heading into the fourth. Final frame, Hirely doing what he did all game long. The trifecta of touchdowns for the Adams Central running back has the Jets up 19-7. South Adams trying to muster some magic. James Arnold, though, picked off by Dallas Schwaller. And after losing to South Adams 42-14 in week six, Adam Central avenges the loss with a regional championship win, 19-7. Here's Schwaller and head coach Michael Mosher. Oh, it just took everything we had. We came in with a model all week of uh, we're going to win or die trying. And the biggest thing that we, uh, Joe and I had watched the most motivational video beforehand, and it was uh, the difference between losers and champions are their mindset. And our mindset was going in and saying that we're going to believe we're winning. And there's no other idea in our minds. We're winning this game. <laughs> These kids worked their butts off. They worked their butts off for this. We believed all week. We came in Monday and said, we're gonna win this ball game. I know no one thought we could win this ball game. These kids believed they could win this ball game and we believed it all week long and they proved it. 3A regional title game at Zollner Stadium, Indianapolis Chittard ranked number one in the state. Chittard facing the Concordia Cadets. Concordia got the ball first and they would score first. Brandon Davis under pressure, chucks it up and Tyler Grossman is there. He's gone, 47 yards for the score and it's seven zip Concordia, three and a half minutes in. Chittard right back after a big kickoff return. First play from scrimmage for Chittard and this is why they're ranked number one. Dalen Taylor. Finds pay dirt 41 yards to tie it at seven. After Chittard would block a Concordia punt, the Trojans would take advantage of good field position. Taylor up and over as Chittard led 14-7, but Concordia, no give up in the cadets. Ensuing kickoff, Cam Johnson fields it right at the goal line, and Cam Johnson is gone. He goes 99 yards to the house. The cadets tie it at 14-all. 
We're still in the first quarter when we see more Chatard and more Taylor. He goes 72 yards on this touchdown run. Taylor, 15 carries for 231 yards and five TDs. Chatard would pull away in the second half to win this one 56-28 at Concordia. 4A Regional Showdown in Mississippi. The fifth ranked Indians hosting number two East Noble and its senior Bailey Parker here with the scamper for East Noble and he is in 10-7 East Noble in the lead. Second quarter, Cade Campbell coming off a 310 yard rushing performance the week before. He gives the Indians back the lead at 14-10. Still in the second quarter, Bailey Parker to Hayden Jones, the senior connection for the touchdown and it was 17-14 East Noble at the half. Third quarter, watch this, Gage Ernstberger with a little stick him on the hands. He hangs on to it for a one-handed touchdown catch from Parker and East Noble beats Mississinawa for a 4A regional championship, 30 to 14. In 6A, a big one at Walter Stadium, number five Carmel at second ranked Homestead. Carmel led by Penn State bound Cole Brevard, the D lineman ranked as the number one prospect in the state of Indiana. First quarter, this is not how Homestead wanted things to start. First play from scrimmage for Carmel and Dylan Downing finds 67 yards of freedom. 7-0 Carmel, just 20 ticks into the game. Chad Zolman, the head coach of Homestead, not happy about that. Later though, Zolman's team gets on the board. How about Luke Goody to Jake Archbold? A great catch in the end zone. 21 yards on the strike to tie it at seven. But Carmel right back. Less than a minute before the half, Christian Williams to Aiden Ellison. That's a touchdown and a big momentum swinger as Carmel led 14-7 at the half. Third quarter, more from the Greyhounds. It's Zach White up the middle for the touchdown as Carmel goes on to win a 6A regional championship over Homestead, 31-7. Hi, my name is Austin and I go to New Bell High School. Hey, Jenna, it can't be true. State champs is going off here in January. Thank you for the question and that can't be further from the truth. We are going off cable TV so we can invest into state champs going 100% digital. We will make it so easy for you to consume all of our great Indiana high school sports content by downloading our totally free app, which is coming up before the end of the year. And our social media network is growing every day. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, every game, every story, everything State Champs will be available on your phone, tablet, or streaming site. Stay tuned. I've always been really good at math and science, and I knew I wanted to work in healthcare, but not as a doctor. So I chose Lawrence Tech's biomedical engineering program. I've pushed myself to take internships, like this one, at a hospital in an orthopedic research lab. Thanks to Lawrence Tech's unique, hands-on style of education, I'm graduating with a published research paper and a job. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, a compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. This is Alan True from 24-7 Sports with this week's State Champs Recruit Report. Mooresville has an outstanding junior class with a couple of big linemen in it, and one of them has picked up his first offer. 
Zach Richards, a six foot four, 290 pound road grader, was offered by Purdue last week. The Boilers start off the process for him as this is his first scholarship offer, but several other Power Five programs are looking closely. Over to Lafayette Jefferson, where senior running back Marquise Munoz was offered by Butler. That's his first scholarship offer of the process. Munoz is a good size, 5 foot 10, 200 pound back with 4 6 speed in the 40 yard dash. He's now completed what was an outstanding senior season and looking for more opportunities on the next level. The Bulldogs have struck first. Another senior who picked up a couple offers recently is Indianapolis Ben Davis's wide receiver, Jaden Brown. Brown was offered by Concordia St. Paul recently on the heels of an offer from Kentucky Wesleyan. It's a big target at six foot five, 180 pounds, so look for more schools to come his way soon. For this week's State Champs Recruit Report, I'm Alan Troop. I'm Grant Bue reporting from Indy. It's Indy Lutheran and North V rematch of last year's semi-state playoff game. First quarter, 7-0 Indy Lutheran, but Brennan Ellis takes care of that. North V ties the game at 7. How great has he been this year? Now in the second quarter, it's Wyatt Reynolds' turn to tie this up. Good blocking, and it's 14-14. Falcons are hanging tough. But Indy Lutheran has Marcus McFadden. He's pretty good. He leaps into the end zone to make it 21-14 Saints. Then on defense, Brennan Ellis does not see McFadden. He is off to the races. 45 yards the other way on the pick six. This was a big turning point in the game, 28 to 14. The Falcons get one back in the fourth quarter. Ellis with his second touchdown of the game, but sadly their season comes to an end. 56 to 21, Lutheran beats North Vermillion. Regional championship in Vincennes. Lincoln hosting Danville. First quarter, Lincoln leading at 7-0. Here comes Danville. Kale Payne to Matthew Brayback for a one-handed catch. Are you kidding me? That sets them up in the red zone. Later in the drive, Chandler Schubert gets in for the touchdown. We are tied up at 7. Lincoln comes right back, though. Eric Vickers hooking up to Fabian Hernandez. That's a big completion deep in Danville territory. If it works once, why not try it again? Here's another great play on the drive. Vickers this time to Torrance Gillis. And another first down for the Vincennes Lincoln fighting Alice's. They would cap off this drive by giving it to Emmanuel Smith, who gets in the end zone for the touchdown. Lincoln grabs the lead 14-7. Second half, it would be all Danville. Payne to Noah Wells for another touchdown. Danville up 28 to 14. Then how about a little Danville defense? Trey Morrell with a sack on the Alice's quarterback. Finally, one more rushing touchdown for Chandler Schubert as Danville walks away with a win. 35 to 14, they are regional champs. Congrats to Danville and Indy Lutheran for winning regionals Friday. The first time since 2013, the Wabash Valley will not have a team in the state finals. Kevin Trzinski with you, and here is a quick recap of all the volleyball finals that took place on November 9th at Ball State. Class 1A saw Cowan and Trinity Lutheran battle it out in five sets. Cowan took the first two sets, and that first set was a long one, 30 to 28. Trinity Lutheran would battle back and win the next two sets, but Cowan came out on top in the fifth set and was crowned champions. It's Cowan's second title, and they captured that first one back in 2012. Now over to Class 2A, Wapahani and Heritage Christian squared up. This one belonged to the Eagles of Heritage Christian. They swept Wapahani 3-0 to become Class 2A champions. It's Heritage Christian's first ever volleyball crown. The matchup for Class 3A was Brownstown Central and Belmont. Belmont took the first set 25-23, but the Browntown Central gang took the next three sets to become Class 3A champions. And finally, Class 4A, Newcastle and Hamilton Southeastern. Newcastle bumped up to 4A after winning two straight titles in Class 3A. HSC would take the first set 25-23 as it shook up the Trojans, but Newcastle would prove to be the best in 4A. They did not miss a beat after the first set, winning the next three to become 4A champs. It's a three-peat for the Trojans.
We literally say this every year. I can't believe the season has flown by to this point. We began the season with 320 teams, postseason just shy of that. And as we sit here and talk to you today, there are 48 teams left, all of them having been crowned sectional champions. It's regional week, and we'll preview all the big games for you on State Champs Indiana Extra Point. We debut every Wednesday at 5 o'clock Eastern time across the various social media channels of State Champs Indiana. Greg Rakestraw, Bob Sambazzi. They haven't fired us yet. We must be doing something right. We'll keep talking high school football with you for the remainder of the month of November right here on State Champs Indiana Extra Point. I chose Lawrence Tech for the architecture program and volleyball team. Architecture is a great fit for me because I love math and design. Now I combine them with technology to create beautiful structures. At Lawrence Tech, I didn't have to wait until my third year to start designing. Our hands-on education begins right from day one. And I'm really excited about LTU's Design Center in Detroit. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> I'm on the Blue Devil football team, and that's a great place to be because other colleges wouldn't let me be both a football player and a nursing student. And just because I'm a dog on the field doesn't mean I can't take care of people. And man, do I love people. The small class size at LTU give me awesome access to my nursing professors. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. I'm John Rawlings from the Evansville area where Memorial is gunning for their first ever Class 4A regional title. Memorial up 7-0 and at the start of the second quarter they add on. It's a reverse as Colton Pence steps up, lets it fly and Dawson Hurley is there for the touchdown. Memorial jumps ahead 14-0. Late in the third, Mooresville responds. Kalijah Perry going way up top, dropping it into the arms of Dane Stevenson. Pioneers trail by seven. Same score in the fourth. Mooresville going for it on fourth down. Perry to Stevenson, but the ball comes loose. Memorial takes over on downs. In swing possession, Tigers facing a third and five. Pence dumps it off to Josh Russell, and he's a slippery sophomore, picking up 13 big yards to move the sticks for Memorial. A few plays later, Pence wants to go long but can't. He's flushed out of the pocket, thinks about long launching it once again, but has to scramble for his life instead. The junior ends up finding some room to pick up the first down and more Memorial in business. Very next play, Pence and Brock Combs collide, but no worries as the 225 pound running back turns on the Jets to the outside. One hit isn't going to take down that freight train and eventually the Tigers get into field goal range. Nico Brome splits the uprights from 25 yards out. Memorial takes a 10 point lead. Late in the fourth, Mooresville strikes as Perry hits Dom Oldham. It's a three point game with 125 to play, but Mooresville has no timeouts remaining. So the Pioneers need an onside kick, but Alan Michael Steptoe is there to recover. Memorial wins their first ever Class 4A regional title, 17-14. I'm Kevin Trozinski, and we head to number 5 Eastbrook as the Panthers hosted the Eastside Blazers. Eastside would strike first. Sophomore quarterback LeVan Davis fakes the give, rolls to his right, and slings it to senior wideout Peyton Terry. The close call on the field is a touchdown. Blazers up 7-zip. The answer from the Panthers give the rock to Wyatt Stephenson, and the senior breaks the plane. And just like that, this game is all knotted up at seven apiece. Trouble on the punt for the Panthers. It's blocked by senior Traven McKinley. Ball rolls out of the end zone, and that's a safety for the Blazers. 
East side up, nine to seven. From here on out, it was all Eastbrook in this one. Zeke Binkert takes the handoff, bounces out to the sideline, and he has daylight. The senior can't be stopped. Eastbrook up 14 to nine. The Panthers are rolling hot, up 28 to nine. Binkert takes the handoff again. The C parts for Zeke, and he will reach pay dirt on the 18 yard run. Eastbrook cruises to a 42 to nine victory over Eastside. Eastbrook set to face Andrean in the semi-states. State Champ Sports Network is a multimedia high school sports centered outlet that covers all high school sports in both Michigan and Indiana on TV, on the web, and on social media. We have an incredible, passionate audience that craves our content, and we have some incredible strategic sponsorship packages for companies large and small. Brand loyalty is built during the teen years, and when your company cares about celebrating community, it's a win-win for everyone involved. You can email us on the contact page at statechampsnetwork.com. Become a State Champs partner today and grow your business. I admit it. I love working with money, negotiating, and making big decisions. That's why I'm majoring in finance and economics at Lawrence Tech. What's truly amazing about the education here is the small class sizes that give me easy access to my professors who truly care about my future. They even helped me get a great internship. And I was able to fulfill my lifelong dream of playing college golf. Lawrence Tech, where Blue Devils dare. Since the dawn of man, storytelling has been the most effective and engaging means of communication. Whether gathered around the warm glow of a fireplace or the family television set, a compelling story has always moved people to action. At Yellow Flag Productions, the Emmy-winning storytellers behind our television programs are now helping clients create content that emphasizes their people and passions. Let us tell your story and share it with the world. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Welcome back to State Champs. The reigning Class 5A State Champs continued their quest for a sweet repeat last week when they disposed of ninth-ranked Franklin in convincing fashion. The undefeated number one Dragons racked up 459 yards of total offense. Charlie Spiegel alone had half of them. This week's main event, now number two Cathedral came to town. These two haven't met on the football field in a decade and Cathedral They've won 12 state titles to new pals, too. Here we go. Class 5A, number one versus number three. New Palestine hosting Indy Cathedral. This was a huge test for New Pal because the Irish played some quality competition this season, including three teams from football-rich Ohio. That's the advantage of being an independent. Nine and two, they were battle tested, but this is undefeated New Palestine, kings of the hill. Last time these two programs met, regionals 2009, this time in 4A with Cathedral winning 45-6. Dragons looking to get on the board early. Just a couple of minutes gone by in the first, the state's all-time leading rusher, Charlie Spiegel, dives his way across the goal line, New Pal up 7-0. Cathedral would answer with a field goal. New Pal led 7-3 at the end of the first. They had the ball again with nine minutes to go in the second. QB Oren Edwards keeps it himself, stretches his way into the end zone. The Irish snatched a 10-7 advantage, which they took into the locker room. Three minutes to go in the third. Spiegel time. The senior bounces once, then twice, and that would be all the free space he would need. Takes it to the house for the score. Dragons 14, Irish 10. Under a minute to go in the third frame. New Powell in the red zone again. Spiegel gets the give, keeps the leg churning, eventually ends up in the red paint to put his team up 21-10 after the extra point. Fourth quarter action. 
Spiegel going to do it again. Hits the hole right away, takes it full steam ahead, 66 yards to Paynard, his 50th touchdown of the season. New Pal looks unstoppable. They defeat Cathedral 35 to 10. Had to stick to the plan. They uh, they stopped us a few times. They we've had to face some adversity, but we just stuck with it and played our butts off, and we came up with a huge win at the end. You know, momentum is a huge thing in this sport, especially for teenage kids. And our kids work so hard and they they attack things so well that once they really felt like you know that is exactly what was happening, and we, we started to kind of plug away there. Um, you know, that confidence just takes over. And, uh, you know, for kids this age, that's so important to, to really believe in what's happening out here. And, and uh, we never look back from there. Time now for the state champs clip of the week. And we stay at the main event. New pals Charlie Spiegel is a scoring machine. This right here, his 50th touchdown of the season one of the best high school running backs ever in the Hoosier State. Love him or hate him, you can count on him to get the job done. And that's your State Champs Clip of the Week. Hey guys, in just a couple of weeks, Lucas Oil Stadium will once again be the site of this year's state championship. But sometimes the semi-states are the best games. There are going to be some incredible matchups next week. We'll have the best highlights right here. We are very active on social media, so bookmark the website statechampsnetwork.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our State Champs YouTube channel. We'll see you next week. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University, where Blue Devils dare. State Champs is also working in partnership with the Indiana High School Athletic Association.